Okay, I thought I'd just do another video on the RFM3 from Roberts. Um, reason being that there is actually two versions, and um, luckily for me, I do have both versions here. I didn't know it at the time. Um, this one came in as a job lot of about three or four different radios. Pretty ropey, in need of um, restoration, but it is all there. There's more that could be said about that one. And uh, this one actually is working as well, so that's even better. So we can sort of see the before and after there, can't you, when you look at the two different sets. Um, pretty much identical to look at. The only physical difference that I can see really is on the side here with the um, 9 volt input jack. This one is um, different configuration with white writing on this one's. I thought it may be metal actually, but this one's definitely plastic with the raised lettering. That's uh, got the white lettering. This is supposed to have um, countersunk screws, but um, unfortunately, I don't have any. So, um, yeah, really, that's the only difference. This is the newer one, this is the older one. Um, the difference lies in inside in the circuits. So if we have a look at um, some Robert's data here. This is the two sheets. Um, this is a newer one. It says from serial number 22001. And this is the older one. As I say, the only real difference coverage is exactly the same. Uh, the newer one has got slightly more output, it's actually 1 watt, whereas the other one's 750 milliwatts. Um, and this circuit, so this modern one, or newer one, has got three integrated circuits, so pretty much there's not a, there's not a diode or a transistor to be seen in this one at all. This one here, however, uses two integrated circuits, two transistors, and five diodes. So they are different. Let's just have a look at the circuits on both of them. Uh, let's zoom you out a little bit, I'll get it. To Bit better in shot for you. Uh, you probably can't see this that brilliantly, but uh, I will get in a little bit closer. Let's get something to point with. So, this uses two chips a TDA 1220B, which is um, pretty much like the radio chip. It's it's, um, it's exactly the same as IC2 in the newer radio. Um, in the newer radio they use a TA7358 as like the RF uh, first stage. This, this one's still got all the old circuitry in it, so no IC f for the RF's input stage. And the output uh, chip is a different one as well. This is a TBA820M. As you saw, this is the one that I changed, which is the TDA1904 in the newer set. So yeah, so, some differences there. Um, again, this set uses some ceramic um, filters. It's got CF1, CF2. This hasn't got that. And uh, we have got some transistors in the uh, input stage on this one, uh, T1 and T2, a 164L and a 1675L, a 1674 and a 1675L. But uh, as I say, this part of the circuitry around IC2 is very similar, very similarly laid out. Let's have a look the output. It's coming off Pin 9 by the looks of it on that one. And it's coming off a of pin 9 on this one. So yeah, it's pretty much laid out the same. Yeah, just thought I'd show you that. So uh, 
Let's get that out of the way and have a look at the radios. Let's pop this one back out. I'm going to undo the uh, antenna. Gently. And as you can see, this one is uh, in need of restoration. Come on out. It's not going to be helpful at all, is this one? No, I'm going to need to whip the screws out. supply screws out right let's uh, move that down the bench a bit so you can see them both So there we have it. So this is this being the newer one at the back here. There's an IC underneath this tuning wheel, underneath the dial cord wheel, and uh, that's the RF stage, the input stage. Again, nothing on this one. I would assume in underneath there somewhere. Yeah, so the um, transistors are in underneath there on this one. You can see the TDA1220B, it's like the same position, similar layout, the board is slightly different, there's another capacitor over here, C35. Switches also look uh, different as well. These newer ones haven't got the top pump um, tabs on them. Much neater looking. So Roberts must have had their reasons for doing this. Some older style um, capacitors without the breakouts on the top. Uh, this is a this is the uh, IC2 in this one, it's a TBA 820M. So that's IC1 in the older set. But apart from that, very similar, just um, different circuitry, so they have used different boards there. I thought it might have been the same boards, but it doesn't look like it. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you that. Um, I'm going to next have a look at the alignment data for the newer radio. I've got it back out of its case now and might as well have a go at um, just checking the alignment, although it, uh, it does sound lovely. Just for info, let's get rid of some of the dust. This is the two bottom covers. As you can see, this older one is serial number 5836, so uh, that one is quite an old set. The newer one, 48,546, so it's clearly over 22,001 serial number. So, hope that was of use to you. Um, I will uh, restore this one, but pretty much it is working, and the procedure is going to be identical to that. So, uh, unless anybody specifically wants me to show that, I shall do that one at my leisure at a later date, I expect. Anyway, thanks for watching. As I say, if that's been of use, then give me a thumbs up, if you would. And uh, on to my next radio.